very interesting to take a group of a bunch of queers, um, uh, non-apologetic bunch of queers, uh, to Blackpool. So it was very white audience, but at the same time, what we had that we didn't have too much in the other in the other context was a much older audience, actually, that uh, that were so hungry for something different. That was really nice. Uh, it was. I'm really glad we reached those people because I know that there's a huge wave of um, new generation queer kids who are hanging about and wanting to know. Yeah. Like, um, and we come across a lot of them, and it's almost like you know what we were saying before, like, like we feel a little bit like a magnet for them because we know like when we're talking to them kind of like what they're trying to express. I'm very passionate about young girls who feel like they may be gay or anything other than straight to have other people that they can kind of be around to inspire that next step of just coming out and I, and, and I just don't feel like there's anywhere modern enough or nice enough. In terms of this type of activity in Blackpool it's not really been done before. So we know that those ticket sales are quite extraordinary and we're really proud of it. What has happened here, just from trying to put this on, is quite radical. To me, queerness kind of holds both a like, non-normative gender and sexuality, but also the kind of the, like, radical and transformative politics. And I think that's why it kind of felt so interesting being on tour in these places where there are definitely gay scenes in a lot of the places we went to, but like especially I'm thinking of Blackpool again, definitely a gay scene there, was there necessarily a queer scene quite as much. It's really important to break into these uh, these things and go into the spaces that you wouldn't necessarily first think or don't necessarily come to mind immediately. I grew up in Norfolk and there was no visibly queer things at all. It wasn't until I went to London when I was 17 and like snuck into a party and I saw Johnny Wu performing for the first time did I realise that you could like perform as a queer person who could be this like this queer and like break down barriers and move through the, the walls of categories of identity in this way. And like I never really ever got to see that model before and stuff like that. I think it's great, and also as well is I think that it's uh, it's great for us to be able to come and see these places as well. What's been your favourite space so far, Anna? Uh, oh, good question. Um, where did we go? <laughs> I don't know. Like I kind of liked Blackpool actually. That was cute. It's like a little like house. Yeah, probably Blackpool. I like Blackpool as well. It's a place. It was funny. We had a really good night out. Had a good dance. Good dance. Was much needed. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what is the letter A when you get right down to it? Here, why of course, it is a single point that moves forward through time. And it becomes the new point with the memory of itself as the old point. However, it knows within this, at some point, it was one point, an undifferentiated point, one with no worries and no cares, but it fell from this Eden and now it's prohibited from ever returning back there by the same knowledge that gives it the memory that it may travel forth through life. <laughs> so worth seeing, yeah, I'm so pleased that I, ca I came to that. The artists were great, you know, it was different. I've, you know, I've never seen anything alternative like that before, it was great. I was really pleased to see these artists come to Blackpool uh, because we're sort of well known for cabaret and variety but it's very sort of traditional and it's nice to sort of test people's boundaries and to challenge people in some ways. So it's great that we've had the opportunity to see these artists but also for these artists to come and experience Blackpool because there's nowhere else like it. I thought it was absolutely great. I've just been saying to some of the other people that I know here today that it's, it's such a good opportunity to see something so diverse in one of these coastal towns. I'm from here, I have been for the past 28 years. I'm in the creative industry also, so it's really refreshing to just see something that's completely different to everything else that we kind of get here. And I mean, there is a queer scene here, but it's kind of very much tailored to the aesthetic of the town. Um, <laughs> it's difficult really because, you know, I'm a queer artist in this town as well, and I feel kind of unre unrepresented. 
a lot of the time. It was absolutely fantastic. I was really looking forward to it. I thought it would be good, but it was magnificent. The performances were outstanding. It's just so fantastic to see something so different here in Blackpool, where it belongs. I really loved it. All of those artists were high level, right? I mean, they were unbelievable. Really, really fantastic. And actually really great to see someone local in there as well. There's a lot of things that aren't spoken about around here, like yeah. Falklands is like a gay culture, but like there is a lot of this sort of thing here, and it's so refreshing. The thing is, you guys, Rumi says, it's not our task to seek love. No, our job is to find the walls that we've built to keep love out. <sighs> Please love me. It's been a really nice way of touring, We're touring with so many people. It's like having a big family, just having a big support network with you. And I feel like that's something really important when you go to different spaces because you never know how it's going to be received. But it, it's yeah, it's been good to kind of experience that as a yeah, as a group. It feels really nice to be like part of what is a really eclectic mix of work. Um, and lots of kind of different styles and generationally and culturally and um, you know yeah everyone's from like lots of different places. Hiya. 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 I've never had an experience like that or been on a tour with a group of artists whose work are all quite different but powerfully pushing both formal and like identitarian and um, aesthetic boundaries in a way that's like productive and fruitful and interesting for audiences. Uh, so it's been really good. Just some of those interactions with people who were like, wow, like this is really great to see. It made me kind of feel a bit like, like, oh, that's really important actually for people to see this collective us as a collective. Also on race, I think it was really important to see a show that is billed as new quiz on the block, doesn't actually mention race and racism or anything like that, but has the majority of performers, actually at most of the shows that we were the majority, putting on a show about queerness. Yeah, some people's work was touching on race and was touching on all of these things but you know people wouldn't necessarily have brought that assumption when they see new queers on the block and I think that's really really important the kind of concepts the way we think about queer is very whitewashed a lot of times so I think it's really important that people could come and then be confronted with loads of people of colour doing amazing stuff. I'm really honoured to be on tour and with such amazing artists that inspire me so much being a part of all the other artists, yeah. is being like into all as the in other like artists, the lineup, yeah. as in we're just like gonna have a massive group <laughs> orgy afterwards because of the new queers on the block, baby, and that's the way we roll. Mm -hmm.